Hello everyone and welcome to Medford Anywhere Learning TV. We're glad you're tuned in. We want to give a shout out to our friends at Southern Oregon PBS, KTVL, KDRV, and the Dove Network. Thank you for hosting us on your station. In the Medford School District, we have one shared vision and that we believe that all are learning and learning is for all. And what better place to do that than right here on Medford Anywhere Learning TV. I'm Mrs. Robertson. I teach kindergarten at Washington Elementary. Hi guys from my school. Our math target for today is showing you how to add using objects, fingers, mental images, drawings, sounds, acting out situations, verbal explanations, and equations. How many things we're going to cover today? Eight things about addition. Are we ready to go? Let's get started. Okay friends, Part of getting ready for math is warming up our brains, okay? Let's get our brains warmed up. Let's start with counting first. Let's gonna, we're going to count to 100. Are you ready? So let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Okay, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. You ready to count? 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, I hope you're counting with me, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Woo, we did it. Okay, are we ready to do counting by tens? It's time to stand up. So everybody stand up. Okay, I want you to stand up because you're going to jump right now to get your whole body into math. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to count by 10 and you're going to say it with me and jump. Ready? Let's do it. 10, 20, 30, 40, whoopsie, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, now do a little dance. Okay, let's do it one more time, but this time I want to hear you say it. Are you ready? Let's do it again. Let's get our whole body in motion for math because I love it. Are we ready? Let's do it. Ready? Say it out loud with me and jump. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Do a little dance. Okay, now let's get sitting down to get to the next thing. We're going to look at our strategies for math today. Are you ready? First, we've got to look at Use your fingers for math. We can use our manipulatives for math. We could draw a picture. We could also use a number grid, which we just counted on. We could use mental math. That's when we're thinking inside our head. We can count on. And I know that's tricky for some friends, but we're going to practice that today, okay? Next, we could draw tallies. I don't know if you know tallies, but... I know my friends do at Washington, so I hope that you've been doing tallies at home with your mom and dad or grandma or grandpa or your aunt and uncle or even your brothers or sisters. 
maybe even cousins, okay? Then also, count out loud. Oh, I love counting out loud. I hope you like counting out loud. Next, use a number line. You know, you can use the number line for many different things, and today we're going to use it for addition. That's when we add and put things together. And lastly, we can write a number sentence. Ooh, we'll do that maybe using word problems to help us do number sentences. We're going to start first with use your fingers. So we're going to use our fingers to solve these addition problems. Are we ready? Let's get started. Next one says, the first one says, 2 plus 3 equals hmm, what? Let's do it with our fingers. 2 plus 3 more. So now let's count them. We can count it two ways with our fingers. We can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Both ways work. So what was our answer? Our answer was 5. Let's make the number 5 right now. Ready? We draw, we draw a line, go down, and go around the block. Our answer is 5. Now let's do the next one. It says 4 plus 1 equals. Hmm, what does 4 plus 1 equal? Let's get four fingers up. Show me four fingers. Now we have to put up 1. So now if we have 4 plus 1, let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is our answer? 5. So now if we also want to count it, like I said, touching your chin, or you can touch your nose, or you can touch your forehead, let's count it again. One, two, three, four, five. Our answer is five. Are you ready to write it again with me? Say it with me. We go across the street, go down, and go around the block. Are we ready to do the next one? The next one's super tricky because it has that number zero in it. So are you ready? Okay. Zero plus five. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five. Because we can't count anything on this hand because none of the fingers are standing up. So if you weren't sure how many were on this hand, let's count it with our, on our face. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So let's write it again. We go across the street, go down, and go around the block. Wasn't that easy? Let's try doing the next strategy which calls for using manipulatives. And this is one of my favorite manipulatives I have. Balls in my little basket here that are green. And I have balls that are blue in this basket. And we're going to use these manipulatives to solve these number sentences. Are we ready to try? Let's get started. And you know what? While I'm doing that, I just got an idea. I can do a word problem and do the number sentence at the same time. Let's try it together. Are you ready? Okay. So I went to Winco and I bought three lemon candies. But then I said, oh, I should try the blueberry, one for my friend and one for myself. How many candies did I buy at Winco? Let's find out. So let's count our numbers here. I see three green balls, and I see two of them that are blue. So when I count on my number line, I see one, two, three, four, five. Did you get five for your answer? I hope so. Let's write that number down. Remember, you go across the street, you go down and around the block. Let's do the next one. We said that our number sentences are going to equal maybe five. Are you guessing that right now? Maybe so, but let's see how it looks like with manipulatives. Are you ready? So we have five plus zero equals what? So let's do it. So we have number five is in green. So I'm gonna pick the green and I'm thinking about going to El Gallo and I'm gonna go buy some masapan for my friends in my school at Washington. So I have, I bought one, Two, three, four, five. But I didn't have any more money, so that's all I bought. So that's why I have the zero right there, because I didn't buy anything else. So how many masapanes did I buy at El Gallo? I bought five. Let's count on our number line. One, two, three, 
four, five. Five is our answer again. Okay, our next equation says one plus four equals, what do you think? Let's use our manipulatives to find out. Are you ready? So it tells me to use one. This time I'm going to McDonald's. I bought one Happy Meal for my friend, Evie. But then I said, oh, I need to buy one for Hadley. I need to buy one for Eli. I need to buy one for Evan. And I need to buy one for Silas. How many Happy Meals did I buy at McDonald's? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five. I bought five Happy Meals at McDonald's. How do we write number five again? Say it with me. Go across the street, go down and around the block. And that's how you can use manipulatives in a fun way. And I'm going to give moms and dads or, or the families who are watching this, guess what? Go to the dollar store and get a funnel and buy the little teeny beads and then you can just use like a clear glass and you can kind of do it the same way and then just take the beads out and lay them on a number line. And you could do the same thing I'm doing. Now we're going to try this. We're going to use a 10 frame. And I know that sometimes sounds kind of scary to use a 10 frame, but it's so easy to use, especially if you use two different colors to do your 10 frame. So moms or dads or families that are out there, grandmas and grandpas, try using two different colors, either using different manip uh, manipulative colors or you can maybe use different color pens. I'm actually using the cheap way of doing a dry erase by using a heavy um, sheet protector. So that way I can write on it and erase it and use it over and over again. It's the best way of doing it. Are you ready to try it out with me? Let's go. So. I'm going to write a number sentence, and my number sentence is going to say, let's try, I'm going to do 5 plus 1. So if I do 5 plus 1, I'm going to use the, the yellow ones to do the green because I don't have green markers, so I'm, please forgive me. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to use red for red, plus one more. So can you see how we have the five, and I want to count up to it, and I say one, two, three, four, five, six. So what is our answer? Six is our answer. So let's write our six, and remember we start from the top, go down, and then turn around and make that circle. Now we have six. Isn't that easy? I also want to say, Another way we can talk about, which is one of our strategies, is counting on. So counting on, if we look at these, this top row up here, we see that there's five. And in my head, I can go, oh, there's five plus one more is six. So isn't that a great way of trying to figure out how to do counting on when you're doing addition? Let's try another one. Our new equation says four plus four equals what? So let's see what four plus four equals. So we're going to take our markers. And I'm going to take the yellow ones that represent the green number. And then I'm going to use the red ones to represent this number, the red four. Are you ready? So now we can see four plus four on our TED frame. But now, let's count it. So we said that we had four up here, so let's make sure. One, two, three, four, plus four more. Oh, five, six, seven, eight. Our answer is eight. So let's write the number eight. And now what we can see is that we can also do that counting on. So let's try that counting on one more time. We know that right here we have four. And then we're going to count out from four. Are you ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Now we have our answer. Isn't that great? Let's try another one. Okay, friends. This time I'm switching it up. I'm going to use two 
10 frames. How many? Two 10 frames. And you're going, oh my, that might be a little hard. But you know what? I'm going to show you how to do this math problem. And I'm also going to use what I call Evan's trick. Evan is in my class, and he showed our friends this trick. And I love, love, love it. And I want you guys to learn how to do it, too. So we're going to start with reading our, our equation first. So are you ready? It says 8 plus 2 equals what? What does it equal? So let's get our manipulatives going. How many do I need here first? In the first 10 frame, I need 8. So I'm going to put 1, 2, 3, four, make sure they get in those squares, five, six, seven, eight. But now it says I need two more. So I'm going to take two of my red ones and I'm going to put them in the second 10 frame. So we know that it says here eight. So let's make sure we have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus two more. One, two. So now how many do we have? Let's count them all together now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So our answer is 10. And to write a 10, we write a 1 first and then the 0. Our answer is 10. But now I'm going to show you Evan's trick. I so love this because he did this in class just a couple weeks ago right before we you know, didn't go to school anymore. So now I want our friends to remember this. Are you ready? Evan said, well, teacher, she says, what if you just move these two red ones right up here? I know when the 10 frame is full that there's 10. And guess what? He was right. Because look, here's 8. And if I count on, using that strategy, counting on, 8, 9, 10. And he solved it so quickly that way. Let's see if you can do that. Are you ready? I'm going to do it one more time. We have 8 right here, and we're going to add 2 more, and I'm going to shift it right up to here, and I can say 8, 9, 10. See how fast you can add that way? I hope you try this at home, too. Are we ready to try the next strategy? So let's get started. Okay, friends, let's review. Let's check out which strategies we've already learned about today. We've used our fingers. We've used manipulatives two different ways on the 10 frame and using my special counter right here. Next, we're going to draw a picture for our addition. Are we ready? Again, I like using two colors because it's easier to see the numbers. So here I have a green six plus one. Hmm, what should I draw this time? I think I'm going to draw some cookies because I'm kind of hungry, okay? So I have six cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six cookies plus Oh, I think I want to have a chocolate chip cookie because I like chocolate chip cookies. I really do. Okay, and so what does that equal? How many cookies do we have all together? Well, let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, plus one more. That makes seven. So now, if I'm going to draw my answer, I'm going to draw it this way. Right up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus that chocolate chip cookie. And now I have seven. Let's look at our next equation. It says five plus three. Hmm, what does 5 plus 3 equal? Let's draw it out. Are you ready? I think this time I'm going to have pizza. Hmm, where should I get pizza from? Hmm, should I get it from Little Caesars or should I get it from Papa John's? Hmm, I'm, I think I'm going to go with Papa John's this time, okay? I hope you like Papa John's. So I'm going to draw five pieces of pizza. One, two, three, four, five plus how many more like oh well you know what i think the first pieces of pizza that i had were pepperoni but this time i think i just want cheese pizza so i'm going to draw three pieces of just cheese pizza so how many pieces of pizza did i buy from papa john's are you ready let's find out 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight pieces of pizza. What does that look like? I write the number eight, and then I draw my pizzas. So remember, I had five pizzas that had pepperoni on it, and then I had three that just had cheese. Boy, I think I'm going to be full after this. Okay, friends, let's do the next one. It says zero plus four equals what? What does that equal? Because that zero is in there again. And I know that sometimes friends go, what do I do with zero? So let's find out. This time, I think I'm going to do, um, let's do some butterflies this time. Are you ready? So I was at school and I saw butterflies flying all around and they came down to the flowers. But on the red flower, or green flowers, I should say, none of them landed on the green flower. So, but guess what? We had four butterflies land on the red flowers. So how many butterflies landed on the flowers at school? Guess what? Only four, because there's nothing here. There was no butterflies that landed on this side. But they landed on the red side, so our answer is going to be four. So you go down across and go all the way down to the ground. Okay, that's how you draw four. And we have to draw our four butterflies. Okay, and we have four butterflies. So you see how you can draw pictures and, and be able to do your addition? It's kind of easy. But remember, try to use two colors because it's, it's easier to see. Are you ready to do the next thing? Because right now I can say, check, we did our pictures. Now we're going to use the number grid. Are you ready? Remember the 100 grid that I used earlier to count on? This time I'm still using it, but I'm covering up all the other numbers so that way it's easier to see what we're doing. That way we don't get any confusion going on. Are you, so you're ready? So if you happen to have another number grid at home, make sure that you cover up and only use the numbers that you're going to use for your number equations. Are you ready? So let's get started. So you can see here I have four plus six equals what? What does four plus six equal? So let's find out. I'm going to take my manipulatives and use it on my number chart. Oh, great idea, huh? So let's try it. So I'm going to put four cubes starting on one, two, three, four. You can see that I have four cubes We're already there. And guess what? Now it says I have to use six more. So I'm going to use six red ones. So I've got to put my six on. So there's two red ones. Now there's three. And now there's four. And now there's five. And now there's six. So, on what number did I stop on? Take a peek. I stopped on 10. So, I'm going to show you how to do it two different ways. So, that's one way of doing it using your manipulatives at home or at school. Remember, try to use different colors to help you figure it out. So, we know that our answer is 10. So, let's try that equation one more time now that we know that the answer is 10. I want to show you a different way of doing it, okay? So, still using our number chart. We're going to say, okay, I'm going to put my green marker on the four, and now I'm going to count up from four and say, okay, I need to do six more spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six. Where did I put my red marker on top? Is 10. So now that I know that 10 is going to be where I stop, Let's count on using that counting on strategy. Are you ready? We know that our first number was four plus six more, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. For those kids who want a challenge, I'm going to use numbers above five this time. And you're going, oh, that's a little scary. But guess what? It's not, especially if you use a number chart and you combine it with your manipulatives. So let's try it out. So we, our equation says seven plus six equals what? What does seven plus six equal? You're going, 
I don't know, because I don't know if I can use my fingers for this one. You know what? I'll show you after I use the manipulatives how you can use your fingers. But let's use our manipulatives first with our chart. So are you ready? Okay, so we said seven. So I need seven green cubes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we got them all in the row. Then it says plus six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what number did I land on for my last number? Guess what? I'm going to show you a peek. It's number 13. So let's write number 13. We start off with the one on the left and then the three on the right. That's our number 13. Now let's use that strategy of counting on again. So let's get, get that going. So let's take these off for just a second and let's make sure we know where we're going to put our cubes. Okay, so I could say, okay, I have to put my cube on number seven. So let me find number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There it is. I'm putting my green cube on. Now I know I have seven. Now I need to count on, but I need to know where I'm going to stop. So if I count out one, two, three, four, five, six, I can put that right there underneath that 13. Now I can count on. So I can say seven plus six more equals eight, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You see how I counted on? And the same way we can do that with our fingers. So he said, oh, how do I do it with my fingers when I don't have enough fingers? Well, let me show you how. So we said the first number was seven. So we had seven fingers, okay? So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven fingers. Now I have to remember seven and put that in my brain. I put it in my brain, number seven, and then I have six fingers more. So what comes after seven? I would go, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Did I get the same answer? Absolutely. So do you want to see that one more time? If I went 7, put it in my brain, I have 7 in my head, put 6 fingers up, what comes after 7? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I hope you try this at home with your mom or dad or any adult that's helping you get your addition done at home. Okay, my friends, I will see you for more math strategies next time. I want to say thank you for watching Medford Anywhere Learning TV. Goodbye. Adios, amigos. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to Medford Anywhere Learning TV. Medford School District is a place where all are learning, and learning is for all. What do you know about a school board and what a school board does? I think it makes like big decisions for the school and um, do you decide field trips? It is the people that decide like uh, like stuff about the school like they're the people that decide all the school rule, rules and stuff like that. What do you think about that? I mean it sounds kind of like a big job. Yeah, it is a pretty big job. I've seen like what they do and it's pretty cool. They volunteer, so they don't really get paid. It's kind of shocking that they don't get paid, but like it's good that they're volunteering, you know? They do so much for us and like, um, like for the students, I guess. I think that that's really nice of them, especially since like, I just think it's really nice because a lot of people don't take the time to do that in their day and they don't, a lot of people don't care that much about other people. I like how um, they all like make a decision by listening to each other's ideas and correcting each other's ideas. Keep doing that if you want like the world to be a good place and maybe that, that might encourage some kids when they grow up to be a teacher too. Thank you for the amazing ideas and rules you've come up with and I hope that you guys keep on having fun with your job and make very good decisions. Gracias, Medford School Board!